Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip. This is part four of my series on comparing the Garmin GPS systems in X-Plane 10, their 530 version of Garmin, and FSX, their GPS 500. I have to make a, a correction before we get started here. Last week I showed you how to delete a flight plan by clicking on flight plan and then hitting clear and asking you if you wanted to delete that and that was not correct. This is for the removing of the waypoint. So that kind of created a little problem there for us and I want to correct that. And the reason that happened and I got confused was there was only one waypoint in the flight plan so I assumed that deleted the flight plan and I guess if there was only one leg in the plan then the flight plan actually was deleted. To delete the flight plan what we do is we click on flight plan and clear the cursor then we go to menu and scroll down and we can delete the flight plan. So that's how you delete the flight plan in X-Plane. Uh, you cannot do that in FSX. Uh, as far as I can tell, you cannot delete a waypoint or a flight plan. You can overwrite them. That's no problem. But just to have one deleted uh, does not appear to be possible. Next, we're going to take a look at the nav page groups on both garments. First, we'll start out with X-Plane, review their pages, and we will take a look at the screens and then do the same for FSX. The first page in X-Plane's GPS is their nav. This is their default page when you open up uh, their Garmin. And we're on our nav page. We have three pages, as you can see by the little boxes here. There's page one. You hit the small knob on the right side. There's page two and page three. We're going to start with the nav page. And here we have our desired track and the track that we were on. Here's our airplane. And this highlighted leg here is our first leg in our flight plan. So we are going from KRDD and our first one is Shadow. That's by Lake Shasta, I do believe. So there's our first leg. And we have a distance to that waypoint of 12.3 miles. It also displays here KRDD to Shadow. And if we were actually flying, it would give us an estimated time here, but we're sitting on the ground. That's why we don't have any uh, uh, estimated time in route or any ground speed. Now, if we hit the clear button, we will cycle through three different displays. They declutter uh, what is displayed. So we have one, two, and three. We start out with everything displayed. So here we're going to see airports with hard services and then we're going to see private airfields and heliports and VORs, VOR DMEs, DMEs, localizers, intersections, vortex, and the like. And as we cycle through here we're going to see less and less of these items displayed until we get to here where we just have our flight plan and our legs here. That's it for the nav page for X-Planes Garmin 530. Uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at FSX. The FSX Garmin GPS 500's display is pretty much the same as X-Planes just a little different look. FSX has more information over here on the left side of the screen whereas at X-Plane we have the comm radios over there. So here we have displayed the waypoint, our current waypoint that we're going on and that's what this, I think that's a magenta color, line is. That's our flight plan. Now you may have noticed that we have KRD here in SHADA and KRDD FJS. The flight plans were basically the same. 
but somehow the programs I used over here was uh, didn't come up with the same waypoints so that's why these screens look different next over here we have our bearing and that would be from our current location uh, to our next waypoint CTS is course to steer and that would be a course recommended course to get us back on track as you can see our track is 360 we our desired track is 322 so they're suggesting that we fly this way in order to cur get back on track and intersect our desired track again and we all know what ETA is right estimated time of arrival VSR and this is a vertical speed required and this vertical speed is is uh, necessary to descend or to climb from your current position and altitude to a defined target position or altitude and this is based upon your current ground speed TKE is track angle air and this will tell you how far off course you are and as you can see on this we are heading our track is 360 we should be at 322 we're 38 degrees off course according to this and then we have XTK and this is the distance that you are off the desired course and that's in either direction that could be left or right the rest of the nav page our displays are pretty much similar we hit clear to cycle through what is displayed and what is omitted we start out with everything displayed all those things I mentioned before VORs DMEs airports soft runways and all the like I think that they're very similar uh, the difference here between the two one thing is uh, X-Plane has three pages they have the nav the map and vertical navigation and FSX has just a, the map page and we'll go through the map page next and then I think that's going to be it for this video the map pages in X-Plane and in FSX are very similar to get to the map page you select the second page in the nav group here and to do that we push the small knob on the right once and that takes us to page two and this is the map page now one thing you'll notice right off the bat is the airplane is now in the center and it is facing the course it needs to be gone or the track in this case I believe it was 322 in the map mode north is always up this is 360 the other thing we can do here is hit the clear button and declutter what we're viewing and we can zoom in and we can zoom out and that's basically it for the map in X planes uh, Garmin so let's go to FSX and they're very similar we're gonna click the small right button and we're gonna end up with the map page airplane oriented the same on track north is straight up we cycle through to declutter our screen and we zoom in and out and so now we're zooming out and this is a really nice feature I like having the states outlined here in X-Plane when you zoom in you just get a black screen so that's it for this video I hope you got something out of this if you liked it please click the like button if you would like to leave a comment, that would be great. And thank you again so much for watching, and God bless.